Community leaders in Bono State on Sunday agreed to the return of repentant Boko Haram terrorists into their communities. According to Premium Time, the decision was taken at a stakeholders meeting to discuss the prevailing security situation in the state. The meeting was organized by the government of Bono State. The Bono State government confirmed that at least 3,000 persons who were members of the armed opposition group have laid down their arms and surrendered to the Nigerian military. Governor Babagana Zulom, who presided over the meeting, disclosed that apart from the 3,000 ex-terrorists currently in the custody of the government, Another 900 confirmed members of Boko Haram have surrendered to the Cameroonian forces. Zulam said the stakeholders' meeting became necessary following the mixed reactions that recently trailed the mass surrender of former Boko Haram fighters. The governor said the government needed to involve all stakeholders in Bono in the decision-making process on how to deal with the repentant insurgents. Various stakeholders at the meeting, which lasted five hours, presented their views on how the former terrorists should be accepted and treated in society. At the end of the meeting, which was attended by many government functionaries, religious and traditional rulers, security operatives and members of the civil society. The gathering issued a communique detailing their resolve to accept the repentant insurgents. They, however, gave conditions that must be met before the remorseful terrorists are accepted into various communities. Key speakers at the meeting were members of the National Assembly, state lawmakers, soldiers, and other representatives of security agencies, victims of the insurgency, religious leaders, Helda residents, Helda lead residents, pardon, representatives of civic groups, as well as representatives of the Nigerian Labour Congress and the Nigerian Union of Journalists. The 16-point communique was signed by the Borno State Attorney General and Commissioner of Justice, Kaka Sheu Lawan. According to the communique, the stakeholders called on Nigeria and the state government to handle the issue of repentant Boko Haram insurgents with utmost care and within the instrumentality of the law. The meeting emphasized the need for proper, profile, you know, proper profiling pardon, of the repentant Boko Haram insurgents to avoid hasty release of hardened elements in the larger community. They called on Bono citizens to key into the educational opportunity created by the state government, especially by enrolling their children and wards to schools at a countermeasure for doctrination. The meeting also agreed on the need for the establishment of a world class, the radicalization and rehabilitation center in Borno State being the epicenter of the insurgency. The stakeholders, however, called on the Nigerian military to sustain the ongoing offensive on the activities of ISWAP while calling for a periodic media briefing on the activities of the surrendered Boko Haram terrorists as a means of keeping the public abreast of developments. The attendees also insisted that all firearms and offensive weapons used by the insurgents be retrieved from them. During the meeting, one of the speakers, a district head, who identified himself as a direct victim of Boko Haram, having witnessed the killings of his elder brother by the insurgents, said, though they are in tune 
with the resolve to welcome and receive the insurgents. It will be very difficult for them to convince other members of their communities to give and accept them unless the government embarked on serious, you know, sensational on the need to forgive and forget. What is your thought about this? What is your reaction to this present situation? Series of things are really happening presently in Nigeria. We just hope that in no time, all those things will become things of the past and will have a wonderful country of which we are belonging for. All these things must not continue in Nigeria. Community leaders in Borno State on Sunday agreed to the return of repentant Boko Haram terrorists into their community. The Borno government confirmed that at least 3,000 persons who were members of the armed opposition group have laid down their arms and surrendered to the Nigerian military. How sure are we that these people have truly surrendered? How true are we that these people have truly repented? That is why, according to what has been said, there is a law, not really a law, but a conditions that must be met before the remorseful terrorists are accepted into various communities. That is what has been said. We would like you to drop your thoughts and reaction via the comment section on this that has been said. Like to share one point of view with us on this, but before we go, let's see people's reactions and know their thoughts about this. Let's see what people have felt concerning the present situation of things in Nigeria. Benedict Chus reacted to this and said, So that they will recruit them into the army and push them to the south. The south must rise up and defend themselves or risk your land to be taken by force because they know fully well that southerners can never allow Fulani from Futa Jelon to take over their entire you know, territories. So their plan B is reintegrate. They are reintegrating the terrorists into the society because probably arming them as a normal soldiers to conceive the southern land. Their plans are clear for the people that can see far. What is your thought about this? What is your reaction to what has been said by Benedict? That these people are recruiting the surrendered Boko Haram terrorists into the military so that they can push them to the south. Probably because they want to take away the land by force from the south. And according to what Benedict have said, that the South needs to wake up from their slumber and protect their land against external invaders because these people have their plan to reintegrate these terrorist people into the society, thereby arming them as a normal soldiers to conceive Southern lands. What is your thought about this? We would like you to drop your thoughts and reaction via the comment section on this that has been said. We would like you to share your own point of view on, you know, with us on this. Don't forget that after five hours meeting, the Bono leader agreed to forgive and accept 3,000 repentant terrorists into the society. Do you think that is the next step of action? Or do you think that will be in favor of the present situation of things in Nigeria, presently now or in the nearest future? We would like you to